holding a candlelight vigil tonight in the city suburb, Sydney suburb of Lakemba. Our reporter Simon Pallon is there. Simon Pallon, thanks so much for joining us. Now, what's happening there at the moment? Well, Kumi, this multi-faith vigil is actually happening as we speak right behind me. There was a rabbi here, an imam and a priest uh, among those who are here praying for a peaceful outcome uh, with the Martin Place situation. Now, I spoke to a few members of the local Muslim community here in Lakemba a short time ago. Let's have a listen to what they had to say. Whoever is doing it is completely wrong. Muslim faith does not allow such sort of actions. So what I can say, it's completely wrong. We take very seriously about that. If they tolerate, why we don't? But it's one or two people that are doing something like that. We can't, we can't accept. Those who do wrong, they, they, they have to be answerable. So, Kumi, the mood here is fairly upbeat given the circumstances. Uh, the Grand Mufti of Australia released a statement uh, this afternoon saying that the Muslim community is devastated uh, by the events that we've seen in Martin Place and also that the criminal actions are very much condemned by Islam. Now, there are other Muslim community leaders too who have released, released various statements. Uh, some of those say that they have in fact contacted authorities to offer their support. And Simon, how concerned are the Muslim community leaders there that their community could in fact be targeted in, in reprisals or, uh, or any, any other incidents as a result of this? Uh, they don't seem too concerned about it, John. They say that uh, the Muslim community has a good reputation in Australia and they don't uh, associate with a few bad eggs, as, as they say. So they're quite um, optimistic about any potential attacks. They don't think it's likely. And uh, as I say, they are really disassociating themselves with uh, a few uh, people who are committing these acts and, and they don't really see themselves as a part of that.